the media loves to talk about gold star families when it comes to attacking Trump. When it comes to Harris's role in Afghanistan, until she stepped in it, they weren't going to touch this issue. They weren't going to mm-hmm, cover right. the gold star families that are pissed off because she's never reached out to them, that she's never said their name, um, that she was proud to be the last person in the room when the decision was made and doesn't mm-hmm. want to own it. Um, and so this, this ad is at least forcing the media to cover the botched withdrawal, the lack of compassion. I mean, for all the talk about Trump and empathy, it's like, listen to those parents talk mm-hmm. about Trump reaching out to them and, and supporting them and comforting them. And I've seen him do it. I, I was in the Oval Office when he called um, Karen Owens, the, the wife of Chief Ryan Owens, who had been killed in an operation. It, it's, it's emotional, it's taxing. Uh, and he was just amazing at doing it. I, I don't mm-hmm. think people see that side of him enough. But those parents see what I saw. Um, and the, it's a contrast that I wish more people could see as we head in these final days. Yeah. And you saw it. And I, I would imagine that there's so many um, other examples of that that you probably saw that we'll, like we don't ever get to see. And it's because of our crappy media that tries to paint him as something that he's not, you know, and well, and conversely, they try to paint Kamala and Walls as something that they're not, <laughs> which well, it's still the, frustrating. The, that Walls response, right? I mean, think about it. He's at, what is it? The Minnesota State Fair. Um, he gets asked about the the killing of that uh, hostage in in American hostage in Israel, mm-hmm. and he's like, "I, I got to go back to my ice cream or cookies or whatever he was eating." What's your reaction to the six hostages being found dead um, in Gaza? Thanks, everybody. Well, he's very folksy. Very folksy. Yeah, yeah I'm it's... wearing a camo hat, by the way. That's right. Cool. It's. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Yeah. And people, but again, the dumbasses, they fall for it. They believe it. And they, mm-hmm. and she's a black woman and it's time for that. So go. But, yeah. but you know, the, the, it, we go from Abbey Gate and the 13 Gold Star families to this event in Israel. I, I got to be honest, I was shocked initially and then even more so. But again, she gets off the hook that she hasn't responded on camera to the death of an American hostage. She was hostage. on the phone, Sean. You didn't see her on the phone? Yeah. During, with it, when she got on Air Force with Two. With an earpiece and then holding her <laughs> phone too. Like it was so obvious she was faking getting on the phone just to like dodge reporters. Yeah. Like seriously, lady, we're but on how, to you. Yeah. But this is, you know, to your point, I, 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 look, I say this with a bit of jealousy. Like I wish I could get away with the crap that they do. Yeah. The idea that an American hostage was killed and, and you don't have to say, like, you can walk away and, like, eat the ice cream and be like, I gotta go. <laughs> if you're Tim Walter Her, it's, uh, it is absolutely pathetic that we are allowing this to happen. And this is where I don't think people appreciate the fact that it's like, it's not just what the media covers, it's what they don't. And they allow them to get, like, uh, you know, we go back to what we talked about a minute ago. Trump goes to Arlington and it's like, let's find the, the problem. Let's find something to go after him on. They blow off all of it. They blow off condemning on camera the the death of an American who is being held hostage by a terrorist organization. And we just won't cover it. We won't let you guys know that this is a problem. Well, not this only is- that, but it's it, Joe Biden is still president, right? I mean, sh- <laughs> I mean, he's, he has he, been working on that tirelessly, right? <laughs> on the beach for two weeks, right? right? I mean, this is the thing. He's still president. He should still be presidenting. And he's and no one even bothers to ask him anything because, you know, he was taken out in a coup by a cabal that just like just put installed Kamala in there. And now all of a sudden she's president. So it's like and then they preached to us about democracy. Oh, my God, don't even get me started. Like, it's just so oh. <laughs> crazy what's been happening in our country with Democrats over the past month. How so? Many- so so like I, when I was in the White House, it was Trump spending another night eating at one of his properties which okay who cares like he's it's not like he's getting a free ride it's he's you know it's his restaurant biden takes a vacation from his vacation so it was Mm -hmm. 15 days off the grid and no one cares and he then he has the audacity to put out a statement i've been working non-stop tirelessly tirelessly tirelessly. Tirelessly. dude you're on the we can see (laughs) you Uh uh-huh and then he blames it on bb (laughs) right yeah you're not working hard enough no, Man, he's not. Wow. He's not work. That guy's not working hard enough. But I've just been hanging out on the beach for the past two weeks. It's yeah. 
it's unbelievable what he gets. They all get away with so much on the left. There's just a, and like we always say, I mean, there's a different set of rules for Democrats yes. than, than there is for Republicans. Um, all right. The, um, the Harris campaign did put out a new ad today, clearly trying to, to turn the page and, and change the focus. Let's play the ad for folks and, and we'll talk about this. We all know costs are too high, but while corporations are gouging families, Trump is focused on giving them tax cuts. But Kamala Harris is focused on you. Building up the middle class will be a defining goal of my presidency. She'll make groceries more affordable by cracking down on price gouging. And she'll cut housing costs by taking on corporate speculators. Middle class families build America. We need a leader who has their back. I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. Okay, so so like, let's just suspend disbelief for one second, okay? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Okay. Just in all seriousness, let's pretend you were under a rock, and uh, and that rock had another rock. So you've <laughs> you've not seen anything that's going on. You get out, and and someone shows you that ad and said, "This woman's running for president." What do you think? I what, just. It depends. Are you a dumbass or are you a normal person? No, you've been <laughs> yeah. under a rock. Let's just say. <laughs> I just. I, I mean. It sounds so great, right? Like if you're if you're in the if you're in her target dumbass audience, you're like, yeah, prices are really high, and she seems determined to go after those mean, greedy, big corporations, and it's all their fault. If you're a dumbass, you would fall for something like that, right? You know, what? and every time you say that, I feel like it's like an infomercial. Like those are the people <laughs> who are like, this sounds like a great deal. <laughs> I should buy that. I know, I'm actually, admittedly, I'm one of those people. My wife is always like, what did you just buy? And I'm like, listen, <laughs> it cleans, it cooks dinner, and it washes your car. I'm like, That's And it's so 19, cool. it's and 1999. With $78 yeah. for shipping. Yes. Yeah, easy setup, by the way. Easy so setup. So great. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I, I guess, th listen, they're the, we'll give this to you for free party. That's they're the party of I want, I want, I want, give, give me, give me, give me. I get everything for free. And it's it's the same reason that like we're going to pay off your student loans <laughs> works. It's it, nothing is free. We you're paying for that dumbass. Like <laughs> you're the one paying for it. But see, they don't understand that because they they're are what houses. they're what they're that we, we're, <laughs> we're never this is this <laughs> this whole thing's never going to make it to like view because we said dumbass so many times no, 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 <laughs> sean's gonna be like we're gonna go ahead and just put this in the can <laughs> <laughs> right? i know you're watching this on a child friendly platform <laughs> i know right i'm sorry <laughs> sorry sean but it's but it's true because a lot of these people want to have the handout so bad and they're just so hungry for it that's we've been talking about that for 15 years they're the they're the ice cream party, as evidenced by Joe Biden eating it all the time. And we're more the broccoli party. Like we know what's good for you. And, and it's it's about self, you know, reliance, personal responsibility. It's like you have to you have to have a stake. You have to have some sort of a skin in the game kind of a party. And Democrats are like, we're going to give you all this free crap. And people are dumb and they buy that. And that's part and parcel to what that ad was all about. It's like, it's, they're not gouging people. Corporations aren't, gou that's not how this is going Grocery stores definitely aren't gouging they're, people. Yeah, wait, wait, I mean, wait, their profit margin. That, right? Hold on, hold on. Can I just stop for a second? This is the beautiful thing that they just tricked us into doing. We're having a conversation about price gouging, right? Right. <laughs> they inflicted inflation upon us. And then they were like, hey, hold on, shiny nickel. Right. Talk about price gouging. And we're like, it's not real. It isn't the groceries. They only make this. The supply chain is that. It's insane. And at the end of the day, they caused it. They yes. literally created inflation through their policies. And then they're like, talk about price gouging. And we're we're <laughs> having, we just got, they, they baited us. Yeah. Stop spending so much money. Stop printing money. Stop doing all the things that cause inflation. I mean, it's like this is these are the same people who we accidentally gave two hundred and thirty million dollars to the Taliban. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. There's a start like there's place. It's just it's ridiculous. Like I, I don't I look at this and I think it's ridiculous. I can't believe her. She's full of crap. And, and it's just nonsense policies. It's not even policy. It's nonsense. But like Miriam says, like Mock says, there are going to be a lot of people out there who look at that and go, she's going to save me. <laughs> right. Forgetting you know? that she's been in charge That's for the past the three and a yes. half years. 
Right. That's that's the key line. What this is to me, like it's it's forget I've been in charge. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what's funny? This this is so government, right? Yeah. So the other day, Trump gets an assassin. Uh, there was an assassination on Trump. The guy who is the deputy who was in charge of like special operations or whatever is the guy that, that Biden ended up promoting to be acting director. So they get rid of the director, Cheadle, because she's incompetent. And then they replace her with the guy that was actually overseeing the divisions that handled all this request. And I'm like, only in government can this happen. Right. And here we are again with I've been the vice president. I've been a partner, by the way, Harris, Biden, whatever, for three and a half years. But then here's what I'm going to do. Here's the policies that I haven't done for three and a half years that I'm going to do to fix the thing that I created in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's it's it's uh, it is mind blowing to me. That's just that's got to get played over and over again, because one of the things that's fascinating about that ad is that she she's blaming Trump and big corporations for their failures. It's mm -hmm. it's right. And, and Trump, conversely, is trying to say, hey, she's the incumbent. And this is where this election is going to come down to. Who do you believe is more responsible? Kamala Harris, who's the vice president in office now, or Kamala Harris when she tells you it's Donald Trump and big corporations. Yeah. And she wants so badly to make you forget that she is the vice president. And she's like, but but I was attorney general and I was a senator and I was but lady, you're the vice president and the country's a dumpster fire. And and Trump is not the incumbent. You are. Which is why Ben Shapiro's advice to him, I think, is so perfect, which every time it comes up in the debate, he just if anytime she sh says she's going to do something, his automatic response should be. So why didn't you do it? Yep. Yep. Why didn't you do it? Yep. So I said this at the beginning of the show. I talked to the president. I don't on Friday. I, I don't get into the exactness of the conversations that I have ever with him. But I will say he does get that. And and he understands the moment that is ha that is about to happen. He understands her tactics. Um, and I, I'm hoping that he rises to this. And and we we had a brief conversation about the tactics. And I think he understands he I, I think he he did a really good job. Biden gets a lot of the attention for how bad he screwed up. But Trump did a really good job in that first debate and he held his fire and I think he's gonna do it again. Um I let's but let's let's talk about this. We're a week out from this debate. Um I think for a variety of reasons, because of the historic nature of this race, that this is going to be an outsized debate. A lot of people who have, don't know much about her, who are willing to give Trump maybe a second or third chance, are going to tune in this debate and say, all right, this is your cell. Give me something. Um, I actually will be surprised if this doesn't do very well ratings wise. I yeah. will be surprised if a lot of people don't make up their mind. But, but do you guys agree with me that I think a lot's at stake for both folks? Totally. Oh, yeah. Without question. Yeah. Is it even going to happen though? Because like ah, she's still questioning about the let's open get mic there in or a whatever. Second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Let's <laughs> let's get there. That's that's uh, let's get there in a second. But first, I, I let's just. Do you think that this is this really is that big of a deal? I do. Yes. Yeah. I think a lot of people. Yeah, they'll watch this. It'll be as decisive, I think, as you know, like the Biden, the Biden yeah. one, because I. People will be watching because it's kind of like what you say. And people haven't seen her in this environment. She's been dodging everybody and everything. She only has done one interview. And that wasn't even an interview. That Dana yeah. Bash interview. Do you was think that Tim Waltz, I, I have this theory that I think like Tim Waltz watched what happened with Donald Trump and, uh, and Biden and said, OK, they pushed him out when she flailed. She's not going to do well. I could end up the nominee. You know? <laughs> oh, my He's gosh. Like, come, Tim Waltz is like, wait a second. She gets twirling her his butt mustache. kicked. He drops out. I become the nominee. Wow, this is great. Uh, so, so, Mark, you brought it up. Like, does does it happen? Well, that's the question, right? Because she's now saying he's not getting along with his advisors and he's scared to have an open mic. She wants her I'm speaking moment. Right. And <laughs> what's so weird about that to me, and now granted, I'm biased, but I found her to be absolutely detestable I did too. in the debate with Mike Pence where she kept saying that she was so unlikable and and yet people thought it was super effective. And so she's waiting for that moment. And it'll if if they do have open mics, it'll be up to Trump to zip it it's not and it's done it's done abc has issued the rules they but so what so what happened is she going to show or is she going to say well, that's, Trump that's, was see, this is, see my theory is that she's going to find some other reason ultimately she can't 
Like, I think this is one where they, they played their card too, too late and too much. I think it's settled. ABC put out the, th they're out, they're done. It's, you know, and, and she can continue to whine, but I, I think the media actually on this one isn't on team Trump. They're on team ABC and ABC said it's over. I think that's, that to me is the key, but let me just lay out my theory on Kamala Harris for you guys. Cause everyone talks about, she's a great prosecutor and everything and all this stuff. True. Fine. Fair enough. But look at every one of the instances where she's had her clip, right? The Mike Pence one, the Barack Obama. I mean, uh, Joe Biden is a racist and I am that little girl on the bus. Mm -hmm. Right. And her questioning of some of the nominees. It's always been scripted. Here's your line. Go out and say it. Here's when this is going to come up. It's always been scripted. She doesn't do well unscripted at a podium, a la nope. CNN thing. Mm -hmm. I, and Trump knows this and he is going if he just lets her fall on herself and give her let her kind of take the throw the line out and just kind of stare at her i think yes right i mean that's just gotta let her talk let her talk mm -hmm. and then she'll and she'll cackle because she'll get nervous and she'll just look like a complete buffoon and yeah. she'll hang herself if you yeah, just give I, her the rope she I will hang herself i totally agree i absolutely agree with that because he yeah he, if he can just let her do that yeah because i yeah because he is he is unscripted. He's the king of unscripted. <laughs> and all of his great lines, you know, when he says, uh, like, remember the Hillary Clinton one where he said, I'd lock you up too. Yeah. Or, you know, you the hands with Marco. It's always, he, he is the king of unscripted one liners, yes. zingers. That's the difference. He'll have his line and she's going to, like, she, I think the problem is she's so, like, write this down for me. Tell me when to say it. I'll say mm -hmm. the line. You know, it's, it's, she doesn't know how to be herself. And I her I, I think her, we saw that with the, the Dana Bash thing. Who the the question about day one was so predictable. And yet yep. it was like she was like, Well, first I'm gonna um move the desk around and then <laughs> I will be I mean, like, dude, that was a gimme. Yeah. And it she was, has a lot of anxiety. She has her emotional support walls and then yeah. she's and she has, you can tell she has anxiety about it. I mean, there was that article from Axios, what, a couple of years ago, where they talk about how she couldn't even go to a dinner party because she was so anxious about it. What if because, she tries to bring Waltz to the debate? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she'll have- On a leash. Or she'll have right. like a little stuffed animal that's like she a wants voodoo to doll. Pet him. She it's wants like a to pet doll. him. <laughs> little Waltz doll that she'll carry and she'll like hold and pet the whole time. I mean, she's, she's a piece of work. I think, I just think she's gonna be completely, anxiety ridden the whole time she's there and there's it'll be actually, obvious you know i think there's a lot of people who are on that on on your team on this mm -hmm. that are saying that she has she she is adverse to these situations uh, i think there is something there to to say i i yeah i think the debate goes through i think she has a tough time um i feel very good about this i was nervous after my conversation with president trump i felt a lot better uh, really because I, I, I honestly, I had a great Friday night because he, we, we talked about it. And like I said, I don't get into details, but he, he was like, we, we went through a couple things and he's, he gets it. He gets it. I love it. I feel awesome. like I feel so, so much better. And it's because of what we talked about. And it was more probably as a, it was more of a reminder, right? He knows all these people are like, you know, I told Trump this, he doesn't need to be told the guy gets it. He's done it. I've watched him do it. Um, I think sometimes we need to be reassured, but he knows what to do. Well, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like this video, subscribe and click the notification bell to get more.